Hey guys, it's Josh Rossi with CompositePlanet.com. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Rossi Photo. In this tutorial, we are going to be coloring this image with sort of a purple, uh, pinkish, bluish tint. It's really cool. You can use this on any fashion image or wedding um, bridals, um, engagements, whatever, and it works for a lot of different types of images. So. Let me show you the layers that go into this. There's a bunch of levels, hue, saturation, color balance. And then we also have a vignette layer up here. So now we're going to be doing a few interesting techniques here with um, blending modes and adjustment layers. We're also going to take out some color first and then add in some color at the end. So I'm going to show you how to do all this. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do is add some blue to this image. So I'm going to create a color balance adjustment layer and we're going to add in about 27 blue and then negative 17 on the cyan. And then we're, and we're only affecting the midtones right now. We don't want to do highlights or anything. Next adjustment we want to do is a levels adjustment. So we're going to be working with the dark levels down here. And um, once again, we want to go to blues and we're going to affect the blues a little bit here in the shadows, which is going to create a cool effect to about 62. And then now we want to affect the highlights because it's looking sort of um, just plain and boring. So we're going to bring in some yellows here about 208. And you can see that that creates a cool effect. The before and after is really moody and it's already starting to look cool. So now what we're going to do is take out some of the color. So I'm going to go to hue and saturation layer and turn this down about 30, uh, negative 39. So the reason I'm doing that is because we're going to be adding a lot of color in the next um, steps. And I just wanted a really slight tint of this blue. You can see without the coloring down below with just the hue and saturation, that's what it looks like. So that is why we added the coloring layers down here. Okay, so now let's add a little bit of brightness because it's starting to look a little flat. We want to make this pop. So just a little bit of brightness, something like that. Okay. And now we're going to start to add in some, some more color. So now go to a levels adjustment layer. So now this is an interesting technique. We, what we're going to do is color this and then we're going to add a blending mode and it's going to make a really cool effect. So to get this purple type look, we need to add in some reds. So we're going to go to the red levels, um, the red channel and bring this up to about 53 and we're not going to affect the highlights. This could create some cool effect, but not today. We're just going to be adding some reds and then we're going to go down to blues and do the same thing that we did before to about 50, 55 and we're going to add in some yellows again, about 196. Okay, so right now you can see it's starting to get this purple pinkish tint to the whole image, but it's still looking really flat. So what we want to do is add an overlay blending mode. You guys can play around with blending modes for this tutorial, just the overlay. It's going to create a cool effect. You can see the colors are really awesome and it has created this purple tint. So now on top of this, it's looking a little bit too contrasty. So what you want to do on top of everything is add another levels adjustment layer and we're just going to be affecting the um, dark levels down here on the RGB channel. That's going to bring up, you know, bring in some, uh, um, lighten up the shadows there. So on that, I'm just going to bring it to about 30. You can see the before and after really contrasty. And then this is sort of a, a nice, um, tiny bit washed out type image. So then to finalize the effect, we're going to add a vignette. And I've showed you guys how to do this multiple times. Really simple. Just go to an, a soft light blending mode, create a blank layer, soft light blending mode, go to your brush and you're going to paint with about 30% opacity with black. And I'm going to back up here make your brush pretty big and just brush around the edges. And we want to um, have the focus be on her on the center of this image. So vignettes are really magical. They make a lot of images look awesome because it brings the focus into the middle. Okay, so there you go. Let me show you with and without. It makes a huge difference. And then what you want to do is go to your eraser and maybe 
erase a little bit around the edge so it's not such a hard edge on that. There you go, guys. That is how you create this awesome purple tint to a fashion image. You can apply this to most any image. Remember to check out compositeplanet.com and subscribe to our monthly newsletter. You get a free pro tutorial as well as 10% off all products for life. We're also posting a bunch of free tutorials, free content every single day, so check out for that. And thank you again for watching, and we'll see you again soon.